Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum, and in this video, folks, I am going to be showing you how to tame the Karkonos. Now, I have been doing quite a bit of testing uh, to see how and what sort of trap to design and build so that it best works for this sort of creature. So if you folks find this video useful or enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and why not check out some of my other videos, who knows you might just enjoy them. So as I said before, I have been doing quite a bit of testing to develop a trap that is easy to build and effective for this creature. So first things first, let's have a look at the trap. I am going to uh, use the fly cheat just so you guys can get a good view of the trap so as you can see it's that simple it's three by three by three that's the magical number it is three so three pillars with three pillars length and three pillars tall you want to snap the pillars at the second snapping point so when you try and place a pillar next to another pillar there are two snapping points snap it to the second snap point and apart from that, just remember three by three by three. So that means, or the idea behind this trap is to allow the Karkonos as little movement speed as possible. And as you can see, I have put a behemoth gate at the other end. And there's a bit of space between the last pillar and the uh, frame of the behemoth gate. But don't worry if you put it right smack bang in the center of, or center it with the trap, it should not get through. If you want, you can add another row of three pillars over there just to give you that sort of reassurance. My trap also has a platform. Now, obviously, my platform is a little bit bigger, but as you can see, it is also three pillars tall. And on top, I have a catapult turret, which is placed on a platform that is raised by an additional pillar. So that means four pillars in total. This allowing you to shoot down on the Karkonos meaning that you stand a better chance of hitting the body as that is quite important you must hit the body not the legs otherwise you will damage it and if you miss a couple of times you will most likely kill it rather than tame it obviously you don't have to have a platform as tall as mine the reason i have gone for such a big platform is this is where i conducted all of my research into how to build and design this certain trap i also have a vault a smithy and a bed because i died a couple of times here and i also have a cannon to show you guys what to use if it works and if it doesn't work i can tell you right off the bat that it does not work but i am going to show you it as well so with that being said and done i am going to go and uh set everything up and get a carcanos in the trap so we can test what forms of weapons we can use to knock it out okay okay everybody so i've got a carcanos in the trap you did see some numbers for some damage don't worry about those that was because it was hitting the cannon so the first thing we're going to test is the trank rifle let's see how much torpor this does if any all right so that was one shot fire bear in mind this is an ascendant long neck so as you can see it did damage but no torpor to it all right the next thing would be the cannon so i'm gonna load this bad boy up i think it's fairly well aimed yeah it would appear so so i'm gonna fire a lot of damage as you can see there and let's have a look at that again no torpor and finally, I am going to be testing out the catapult. There's one shot, so 250 damage. And let's see, and around 430 torpor. So as you can see, there's only a small gap for errors to be made with this particular tame. Okay, so I done messed that up a bit. I was getting the spawn code ready for the Karkonos to show you guys how to lure it into the trap. I accidentally pressed enter and spawned it right next to my base. Uh, but that's alright, I'm going to show you guys how to kite the Karkonos. So one of the methods that I'm going to try is to use a fabricated pistol to lure it away from uh, a bit of a distance. It seems quite focused on whatever it's hitting there, most likely the cannon. So what I'm going to do is going to quickly try and nip its leg, then run away. Now, with this, you will always want to try and bite its leg from either the side or from behind. 
Okay, so... The other Karkonos I had to kill because it already had taken too much damage. It would not uh, survive the taming process. So the cannon did do a significant amount of damage to it. And as a result, it just ended up being killed as it simply couldn't survive the taming process. It wouldn't have had or received enough torpor from the catapult to be knocked out before being killed. One thing to be aware of whilst doing this is that the Karkonos can grab you off of the mount so that is why you need to try and nip at its legs either from the side and then pull a runner or from behind. I do recommend trying to use a fabricated pistol or some sort of long range weapon if you can however it is a bit derpy in that it will quickly lose aggro or it won't follow you or it seems to work a lot better with being bitten sometimes I mean it's a bit glitchy a bit derpy so you might need a couple of attempts before you actually get its attention as you can see it's kind of popped itself out of the trap I mean that wasn't designed for it but it's all right that just gives me um, a chance to show you how to properly kite it and all the challenges that come with kiting it. So the first thing I'm going to try again is I'm going to try and use the fabricated pistol. And you'll see it might follow me, it might not. It doesn't want to follow me, which is quite weird. Most other creatures will just normally come straight at you once you damage them. This one's just walking away randomly. So the next thing I'm going to do is try and nip at its legs to get its attention that way we've got the combat music but it's not following me and as i said before be very very careful not to get grabbed by it because that means death basically it will smash you onto the ground until it kills you then it will probably go for the mount so you always want to approach this creature either from the side or the rear and then run away so it does take quite some time to Turn around to try and grab you. So you've got a couple of seconds. Make use of it. Okay. So I'm going to head right for the middle of the trap. Okay. Well, never mind. I kind of... I do recommend hitting for the middle of the trap. If it does start focusing on your gates, then resort to the pistol method. So what I'm going to do, I am going to try and creep in with my mount. Get it to focus on me like so. Okay. It's still focused on the gate. Right, I'm just going to go slightly in the trap and shoot it again. That's it. So that has made the creature or the NPC believe that it can grab me. It's turned around and tried to do so. And by doing that, it's followed me into the trap. Now I'm going to go and shut the gate. And it should be trapped. After that, just basically get on the catapult and fire away. I'm going to remove this this cannon because it's in the way and it's doing my head in. There we go, that should sort that out. And yeah, I parked my mount in the way as well, so as you can see it's the exact same one, it's got a bit of torpor on it, so you want to hit the body. This is very important, you don't want to hit the legs and notice that it has four pairs of claws and the, I don't know, first pair or second pair, whichever one you want to name them, number them, the ones that stand above its body will act as a shield when it does turn sideways. So you will have to dismount the catapult to try and redirect its attention towards the catapult. If you try and hit it and hit the claws, it will do damage to the Karkonos instead of Torpor. So, as I said before, there is only a small room for error to be made. Otherwise, be patient with your shot. Wait for a good shot at the body and basically just keep shooting until it goes down. And as you can see, because the trap is so small, the Karkonos cannot move a lot. It will leave its torso or body exposed more often, meaning I will get better shots on it. And at the same time, it cannot get away. The reason I put the behemoth gateway there is that once it has 
reached a high amount of torque for level one to run away. Hopefully, we'll see that in a bit. So, okay, I was gonna try and kite the Carcanos again, or to get it to turn towards the catapult. But you may need to fire a couple of shots or try and get closer to the trap to redirect its attention. It will turn to its side quite often. At the moment, it seems to redirect itself once I dismount the catapult. Sometimes you may need to go down there and make it think that it can grab you by getting closer to the trap. Now, its grab and hit range is somewhere around to ceiling tiles from the middle pillar that is facing the catapult so that is your mark that is where you want to be you want to kind of just go in there and come back out or try and kind of go into the trap and then run back out just enough to get its attention and turn it around so that it faces the catapult okay so it has been knocked out it still has quite a significant amount of health remaining which means all the shots that i or most of the shots that i took at the carcanos hit the body and did what they're supposed to so in terms of taming food it prefers the turtle kibble or turtle egg kibble actually um it also after that prefers i think another sort of kibble i'm not entirely sure which one it is but turtle kibble is quite easy to make there are plenty of those around um, also, you can use uh, spoiled meat followed by prime meat and mutton and all the other meats in the order that you are normally used to. Okay, so while it is taming, let's have a look at the requirements for the saddle. Let's see what level it takes to be able to craft the saddle for this creature so you need to be level 65 to be able to craft the saddle for the creature as you can see oh, showed the the things the the mats that you will need to craft the saddle so as you can see you can't craft it in your inventory it's craftable in the smithy there we go and all in all, not a very expensive saddle to craft. So, 80 blue gem, 225 fiber, 200 fungal wood, and hide. So, they are all fairly easy materials to get for the saddle. Okay, so it's almost ready to be tamed. Um, once it's up, I will put a saddle on it and... I will then have a look at the creature's abilities and show them to you as well. Okay, it's up. I'm not going to name it anything. I've taken the kibble. I don't want it to eat that. And I'm going to go quickly get the saddle. Oh, okay. I can stay there for a bit. <laughs> I forgot that it does uh, tame with... Uh, the follow on so just gonna go and pick up the saddle oh hold on a bit I need to craft it so I'm going to spawn in some some fungal wood for this purpose there we go that should be enough if I remember correctly Oh, we need some more fiber. Okay, fair enough. All right, so one Carcanos saddle crafted, or at least on or in the process of being crafted also you did get to see the mat needed to craft the saddle so it's not a uh, uh, an expensive saddle at all um let's go and put this on you and then go and try out some of your abilities all right so hopefully there's something around here so it has two attacks 
as you can see, I'm just going to show you this right here. So it cannot get through. Or so a wild Karkonos is not able to get through if you center the gate. But as I said before, you can also put pillars there as well just to give yourself the added reassurance. Now going back to the attack mode, it has two uh, primary attacks. So left click activates the left claw and right click activates the right claw. If you click it simply, it will... So if you left click once, it will hit or smash its claw into the ground, damaging the creature. If you hold the click button, it will grab the creatures like so. And you can also carry two creatures with this, which is absolutely awesome. I do like that. If you then click with the creature in your claw, it will do damage to them. So obviously left click for left claw, right click for right claw. So I'm going to try and throw it. Oops, I accidentally smashed it into the ground. Okay, I wanted to throw that parasaur, but yeah. That's that's a bit sucky. Let's see. Let me go and find another creature to grab, and I want to throw that. The Karkonos has also got quite a massive jump, however... Do be mindful if you jump and fall, it will take damage. So, okay, so I will show you the jump if I remember. Hopefully, I won't forget. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go look. Okay, I can see a creature, so I'm gonna try and grab that though, Dicarus, and uh, attempt to throw it. So, I think you grab it by holding either left or right click down for a couple of seconds. Once it's in your claws, just let go of the click button, then you press C and use the crosshair to throw it wherever you want. And that's what I meant to do when I was attempting this before. And as you can see, it throws it quite a <laughs> quite a fair distance. Okay, okay, so I've found a creature. I'm just going to go uh, find a, another creature. So, as you can see, there's a bit of a difference between running and walking. At the moment, I am holding shift down, so that means I am running. And so, therefore, this is maximum speed that uh, this creature can do when you are running. Obviously, you can probably put points into movement. As this is an aquatic or semi-aquatic creature, it can also be used underwater. And it does so swim to some certain extent. I'm going to grab this guy. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit it. I meant to grab it. So I'm going to throw it somewhere around there, and let's see what it does. Wow. Okay, that's far. That is far. It's probably going to de-aggro by the time it gets to me. So, this is walk, and this is sprint. So that's, yeah, not the fastest of creatures to get around, but it does have so many abilities. There's, you know, it's just cool. So, hold space and release to jump. Use the crosshairs to direct the way you want to move. So, if I look... Let's try this. No. Okay, maybe I need to look a bit higher when I release space bar. Let's try this again. So maybe like so. And as you can see, it can over jump a behemoth gate. Meaning, in terms of PvP, Behemoth Gate won't keep players out anymore. Okay, let's see where I land. Oh, I landed on a mushroom. Try this again. See if I can damage the creature from a fall. Oh, that was quite a fair jump. Oh, there we go. That's it. It has taken damage, as you can see quickly look at how much so yeah it has taken a bit of damage so be careful don't get carried away with it there we go so it's got quite a tall jump which is absolutely awesome let me see if i can grab fish i would have thought i can but i'm still gonna try also if something hits you you will drop whatever you grabbed so maybe just kind of come back out here 
Can I grab it? No. Oh well. No, I can't grab the fish. That'd be nice though. If I can hit it. But I can't grab them. So as you've seen here, you can control the claws independently of each other, which is totally awesome. All in all, a really nice creature. A bit slow, but I do like it. And yeah, that is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have found it useful uh, and have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to let me know by pressing that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content from myself. And if you're new to the channel, why not check out some of my other videos? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Until next time, stay safe, folks.